So of all the things that we could talk about that are going to make you successful on YouTube and help you to be able to do this thing effectively, the most important thing for success is going to be the support of your family, of your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever that happens to be. Without their support, it's going to be very hard for you to be successful. So in this video, that's what we want to talk about. We want to talk about kind of our pieces of advice mm -hmm. for being able to gain family support on YouTube and doing your YouTube channel. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Ken, the content coach, and today we are joined by somebody much better looking than me. That's my beautiful wife, Mel. Hey, guys. So in this video, we want to talk about some advice that we have for you guys in order to help you to gain support from your family and advice for the family also to help them be able to show that support to you to be able to understand the compromise and what all it takes to do this and how they can show support in those ways. So before we do that, if you are into this type of content, if you are a YouTube creator, if you are wanting to start a YouTube channel, anything else like that, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell right next to it so that you will never miss a video. And if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up, that helps the channel also. That helps you to push the video out, all that good algorithm stuff. So anyway, let's get right into it. So we want to talk about our advice for you as a creator and family member, both perspectives, and how to be successful on YouTube with that family support. So the first piece of advice that we would have for you is to be clear about your goals and your objectives with your family, with your spouse, your husband, your wife, whoever that may be. Be clear about your objectives and your goals with your channel. So what do you have on that for the family member? Yeah, I definitely think the number one thing that you need to consider is to declare yourself a team. You need to be on the same team. Um, you have to be willing to understand, um, like Ken said, why are you doing the channel? Um, what your goals are for the channel? If it's for a business, a hobby, uh, maybe it's just an outreach for mental health purposes, whatever that may be. Yeah, and she, so Mel has been my biggest supporter in the entire two years that I've been doing YouTube. I started with another channel. I've branched yeah. out and kind of you know, started this channel. Mm -hmm. She has been the most supportive person. And without that support, that would not be possible. But it's always been important for me to make sure that I'm clear with her on what the goals are, what the objectives are. And that way she can understand the ways that she can support me. So that's right. for the creator perspective. What advice would you have for the family on that? Yeah, try to be involved as much as you can. Um, if your kids are interested in being involved, definitely involve them. Maybe keep the channel PG rated so that the kids can participate Absolutely. Um, if you want them to. Um, but just definitely find your way of, of getting involved, whether it's in the chat streams, showing support, offering advice, um, being in a video, whatever that may be. Yeah, and do that to your comfort level. You may not be comfortable right. with the kids being on screen, and that's completely understandable. Right. But, you know, I know for me, just speaking for myself in, in this channel, Mel being involved doing videos, and we've included the kids in videos. Yeah. It's it's made a world of difference in this channel and the ways that I've been able to be successful and the things I've been able to do. Again, without her, none of this would have happened. I would not be here. So it's been a great, you know, her support's been awesome for the channel, for both channels. So our second piece of advice for this, for the creator and the family, is to show support both ways and communicate effectively and efficiently with your spouse as the creator and also your spouse. Make sure that you guys are communicating effectively together right. for changes, for anything that may come up. Mm -hmm. So for the family member, what's your, what's kind of your perspective on that? Yeah, I think you definitely need to show support um, openly. Um, the The spouse needs to feel validated in pursuing their passion. Um, so I think that even if you, let's say, decide not to participate as much, um, just show them that you support them. Um, make sure that they know that. And try to be involved um, and offer help as much as you can. I think the more you show interest in what they're doing, the more you're going to enjoy it too. And you guys can do it together then. Yeah, Bluegrass Bearded and Ken, the content coach, have both always been a family-ran thing. I've always said yeah. that I am not, I'm, obviously I'm Ken, that's who I am on the channel, but the channels themselves are both family channels. She's always right. been involved, the kids have been involved, 
and that's been huge for us now communicating effectively she pretty much kind of knows my schedule but there's a lot right. of times where things change i'll be invited on somebody else's live stream or in some way or another to collaborate with somebody on the side of doing this I also do some graphics design stuff i do some coaching different things like that so there's nights when i'm down here working on that that really right. has nothing to do with the channel mm -hmm. but it's part of the business side of things so um, just communicate effectively make sure that your spouse knows what's going on all the time right. And we're going to talk about in the next point, but be also ready to compromise because yeah. outside of the business, outside of the channel, there's still life. There's still kids. Like in our right. case, we have three kids. And so sometimes things come up. You may have to adjust and be flexible. Just make sure that you are constantly communicating. Yeah, I totally agree. And one other thing I want to mention is make sure that you find out how you can be involved. Um, if you're not sure where to begin or you're not really sure where your place is in all of this, um, just make sure that you, um, you know, talk to your spouse and find out if they could use your advice, if they could, um, you know, use you in a video that would help with what they're doing. Maybe it's just you're not sure how to be active in the community or where you begin as far as being in the chat and, you know, how, how to interact with people in the chat. Um, just find out where your place is in that because I think if you guys can do it together, um, that definitely is not only going to help the channel, but it's going to help you want to support your spouse even more. Yeah, and that's where communication is going to come in also. Also, as the yeah. creator, don't be afraid to approach your spouse and say, hey, I've got this idea. Right. This is what I want to do. I'd like you to be involved in this way if you're willing to. A lot of times yeah. your spouse may not know that you even want them to be involved. Um, so go to your spouse yeah. and say, Hey, I would love to do this. You know, when we came up with the idea for this video, that's kind of what I said. Now, full transparency. Sometimes I suck at communication. <laughs> I think it's just cause I'm the husband. That's the stereotype, right? But I really do. Sometimes I'll think that I reminded her about something or told her something. Sometimes I just forgot, you know, whatever the case, I'm sure somebody can relate to that as full transparency, but do your best, keep notes, whatever you need to do, but make sure that you're communicating with your spouse your desires for them to be a part of it. So any ideas you have, make sure that you are letting them know, giving them a heads up, all that yeah. kind of stuff. And two heads are always better than one. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of times I come up with ideas that he has never thought of. And if you guys can work together, that makes it even better. She calls herself my agent. I do. <laughs> yeah. All right. So our third and final piece of advice for this video, because there's so many other pieces oh, of yeah. advice, but for this video is going to be compromise. Right. Make sure that you don't neglect the compromise on both sides, because not only are you as the content creator compromising a lot of time, a lot of efforts into building your channel, building your brand, but your spouse, your significant other, they are also compromising a lot. So for you, from the, for the family perspective, what do you have on that? Yeah, realize it does, you know, it does take a lot of sacrifice, but as long as your spouse understands also what you're sacrificing by allowing them to pursue their passion and that understanding is on both sides, I think that is what it, you know, that's the key to making it work. Um, make sure you're just open and honest, um, you know, and make sure that that respect is there. Um, you know, when you um, encourage and support your spouse, they're going to feel that love and that respect that they need to keep going with their channel. Yeah. Again, the biggest reason I've been able to succeed at, you know, the first channel and now this channel is going really well is because of her support. Um, I mean, everything, yeah. her advice, her, she's my agent, um, everything <laughs> that she has provided to me as far as the channel goes, couldn't have done it without her. And that's taken a lot of compromise on both parts. Right. Now, as a creator, again, make sure that you don't neglect or take for granted the right. compromise that your spouse is also making because it's a lot. She There's a lot of times where she's dealing with the kids. Now, yeah. a lot of my stuff I do at night after the kids are kind of relaxing for the night or whatever. Right. And that's kind of how I choose to do that. But a lot of times there's live streams or there's something I need to get done right. you know, during the day. And she is awesome with... Uh, with the kids, with, with those kind of things there. So she never complains. Uh, we, mm -hmm. you know, early on when we first started doing this, there was a time where we had to sit down and kind of have a conversation about balancing time better. Right. But that was the only time and, and we've adjusted well since then. And I think that's what it takes. It takes conversations. It takes right. that compromise and it takes understanding both ways and especially making sure that you don't neglect the compromise that they are also making. Right. Yeah. You definitely need to put your marriage first too. Um, you know, without each other's support, you know, obviously the channel ain't going to go anywhere. Um, your marriage ain't going to do well. Um, so these kind of go hand in hand with just our marriage. It's, it's one team, one fight, and we have to be in this together. Yeah. 
Yeah, we schedule family time a lot. You know, we try to do it Saturdays for sure. Yeah. Um, yesterday, for example, today's Sunday as we're filming this, we went to the uh, Louisville Slugger Museum. Had right. a great day. That was a designated family day. Yep. I didn't do much at all channel-wise until mm-hmm. late last night. I came down here right. and did a few things. But the important thing, make sure that you schedule that family time, balance everything out the right way. Yep. I promise you, you can run a channel, have a family. I also work a full-time job. It is possible. You as the creator may not get much sleep in that process, but it's worth it if that's balancing everything out and you're able to run your channel. Yep, absolutely. So that's the advice that we have for you guys in this video. Now, we may do some more down the road because there's so many more things we could talk about. Yeah. At the end of the day, though, just make sure that you understand the important things are compromise. Make sure that you understand the goals, that you're both on the same page as far as the goals of your channel, your business, your brand, whatever that may be. Yeah. And be flexible put each other first, understand the needs of the other person. I think as long as you do all that, I think everything will be okay. There's more to it, but I think that's pretty yeah. much the start. Yeah. And definitely just try to be involved. You know, um, I had I had one choice in the very beginning when we started, and that's either to join this, this fight or this team with Ken in pursuing his channel or to just not be that supportive partner. There's really no in between. So either you're on board or you're not, and you just have to make that decision. Yep, absolutely. You can do this, you and your family can do this. Just sit down and talk about it, be on the same page. Yeah. Everything's gonna be okay. Yep. All right, so again, hopefully this video is gonna help you to be able to run a channel, manage your time with your spouse, gain that support from your family that we all desire and crave. Again, family support is everything in this. It's without it. You really have no shot at anything else. So right. family support's important. I'm grateful to Mel for being so supportive. And I hope that you're able to find that same support also. If you have any questions, if there's something else we didn't cover in this, if there's another piece of advice that you have as a creator, make sure you throw those down in the comments. Yeah. We'll let the comment section of this video hopefully help everybody with our goal for this video. And that is just to gain that family support and be able to be successful managing all that time and everything that goes along with it. So if you're into this type of content, if you are a content creator, if you're running a channel, anything like that, take a look through the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you don't mind, ring that bell next to us so that you will never miss a video. And if this video has brought you value at all, please hit that thumbs up on the way out. That helps the channel so much. I appreciate you taking your time to be here. Make sure you check out the website, kenthecontentcoach.com for everything going on with the channel. Email and everything is also there. Email us, Ken, at kenthecontentcoach.com. So check all that out. All that is available in the description of this video. And until the next video, remember, just hit record, and we will see you next time. See you guys.